Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding employee and manager salaries both in Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Dropbox interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the employees who are earning more than their managers, output the employee's first name along with the corresponding salary. So basically we are given a data frame called employee and our expected output is a pandas data frame which looks something like this, like two different columns, first name X and salary X. Why this is appended with the letter X? When you merge one table with another in Python and both of those table have same name, right? So Python automatically, you know, assigns these values at the end so that, you know, it is able to differentiate between those names, right? So if we preview this employee data frame, right? So you have a number of, you know, columns, ID, first name, last name, etc. their salary, target bonus and all that. And at the end manager ID. So basically we need that for all of these people, right all the employees are they earning more than their manager so what we can do here is we can take this data frame employee and merge it with itself so basically this data frame employee like let's say it is even right so we can merge this with a copy of itself you know we can use this manager id column from even and the id column from the data frame e2 right so what i'm saying is we can use right so let me use the pandas.merge object right so pandas dot merge you are merging employee data frame with itself remember how in sql if we are self joining a table on itself you need to make a alias right so you need to alias both of them as two separate aliases here you don't need that right so you are merging the employee data frame on itself and since you know the name of the columns are going to be different right so left on manager id and right on id right so you see since you are merging this on itself that is why you know all the column names are going to be the same in both of these right so that is why you know this x and y and all that comes out right so left on right so left on manager id right and right on right so right on is equal to id and how do we want to merge this we want to merge it using a left join right so we write left let me run this let's see what we are getting so you you see now you have x's in all the names right and after this you you will be having y's right so that is what we have so now we have every person right their managers right and their salaries right so salary y is the manager salary and salary x is the employee's salary right so what we need to do is we can store this in a data frame called df so df is basically same right now we can do a boolean indexing right so basically provide a list of filters of true and false values so what we can do is df df of the column salary x right is greater than df of column salary why so basically the employee earning more than their manager right so this will produce a list of true false values and once this is passed as a filter to the data frame right so it is basically called boolean indexing right let me run this let's see what we are getting so there is only one column where the employee is earning more than their manager so employee is earning 250000 and the manager is earning how much it it is going to be 200000 right so we have this but in the output you don't need all these columns right you only name the first name of the employee and the salary so we can you know only keep those columns so we can write first name x and then the salary x right let me run this let's see what we are having okay so now our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and yeah this is how we do this in python now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in my sequel so if you look at it same question right you have the table employee the expected output here is you know same two columns but they are alias differently and if you look at the table employee you have all the same information right 
so here also we are going to do the same thing so from employee we are basically self joining it on itself and in my sql we need to alias this as two different names right so from employee aliased as even let's left join the employee table this time aliased as e2 on even dot manager id is equal to e2 dot id right and then once you join that right now we only need to keep those rows where the manager is earning less than the employee right or you can say employee is earning more than the manager so we write where even dot salary that is salary of the employee is greater than e2 dot salary that is salary of the manager so once you have this then from those you only need to return the first name right first name and you need to alias this as employee name right because that is what you have in the output so we write as employee name and then you also need the salary right so even dot salary as employee salary right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so we have our output which is exactly same right so let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything looks good everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know use the information that we have in the data frame or the table join it to itself right and make sure we are only keeping those rows where the employee salary is greater than the manager's salary and for those rows you just return the name of the employee and their respective salary so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video